Boys and girls, I want to share this book with you called The Pledge of Allegiance. It's by Tyler Monroe. So this is a learn about the world book. And in this book, we're actually going to learn what is the Pledge of Allegiance. So there's my title page. The Pledge of Allegiance. Notice there's a flag behind them. And these people are standing with their hand over their heart. We could check out the table of contents. So there's different things we'll learn about in each of these chapters. First chapter is A Promise to America, and it starts on page four. Next is Who Wrote the Pledge? That's on page eight. The flag code is on page 12, and the symbol today is on page 18. At the end of the story or the information, there's some other parts of this Learn About the World bar book called a glossary, which gives you information about words in the book on page 22. It gives you um, reading some more about the topic and some internet, internet sites to go to. So let's start with the first chapter. There's a couple of people. A promise to America. The Pledge of Allegiance is a promise. People say the pledge to show loyalty and respect to the United States. The pledge's words show a person's pride in being a U.S. citizen. But saying the pledge isn't a law. Americans don't have to say the Pledge of Allegiance. And these are the words of the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next chapter, who wrote the pledge? In 1892, Francis Bellamy wrote the Pledge of Allegiance. He wanted students to say it on Columbus Day. He mailed copies of the pledge to schools around the country. There's a picture of Francis Bellamy. Wow, 1892. That's a lot of years ago. That's over 100 years ago. A Columbus Day Parade in 1892 celebrated Christopher Columbus reaching the Americas 400 years earlier. So that was a holiday that we, aren't, we don't really celebrate that much in the U.S. now. Here's another picture. Students and teachers liked the pledge. Children started saying it every day. It became a tradition in U.S. schools. Look at how different that classroom is than ours. Look how big the flag is and the clothing the children are wearing. Very different than what we wear today. Oops. Oh, this is a big hard book too. All right. Next chapter. The Flag Code. Congress included the pledge in the U.S. Flag Code in 1942. The code is a list of rules for using the American flag correctly. So here's a picture, uh, maybe in 1942. Looks a little bit more modern than the previous picture. Notice all the kids are facing the flag, and as is the teacher. Look at their classroom. It's a small group of kids. Hmm. The code says most people should take off their hats when they say the pledge. Only people in the military keep their hats on during the pledge. Military members salute the flag during the pledge. So this picture shows a person in the army wearing their hat and they are saluting the flag. They are not putting their hand over their heart. 
changes have been made to the pledge over the years. In 1923, the words my flag were changed to the flag of the United States of America. This shows the pledge in 1923, the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, let's get your page again. <clears throat> the symbol today. President Dwight D. Eisenhower asked Congress to change the pledge again in 1954. The words under God were added after the word nation. So here's a picture of President Dwight, uh, President Eisenhower speaking to Congress. And if you've seen um, pictures of modern times from the uh, this uh, con congressional hall, you will notice that it is not changed very much except for the people sitting in the chairs. The people have changed tremendously. We now have women who are in Congress. We have people of color in the Congress. So there have been a few changes. People can say the pledge any time. People stand and face the American flag. They hold their right hands over their hearts as they say the words. And that's the uh, glossary of our book. has some big kryptonite words in it. There are some internet sites you can go to and you can read their more books about the Pledge of Allegiance. And I hope you learned a lot from this Learn About the World book of the Pledge of Allegiance.